Last time we made some real, real freaking progress with the radiator, fan, test, benchmark, whatever the hell this is yet. But uh, for this time we're going to finish it. Uh, I don't know if we will fill it, that's the question still remains to be answered. But at least we'll finish all of the tiers. But before we do that, I still have this water thermometer that I really wanted to use. And as I found out now, the only place where I can somehow yeah, let's say force it in is here in the bottom. It is not meant to be used that way. I guess there are things where these hooks are meant to go in, but I'm not using any of that. So I'm going to use it in the bottom here. And in the worst case scenario, I would just glue it. Hard glue it to it. I, I don't really care as long as it holds in and as long as it doesn't fall apart. Now how this thermometer is supposed to function is you have basically a female to female adapter here in the center and there is some sort of probe attached to it and then you have water in from here and then water out from there and what I want to measure is the water temperature that comes out of the radiator and then calculate the delta delta T to the room of that and therefore what I need to do is either attach the probe right to the inlet of the reservoir. However, I kind of have the feeling that that's not such a good idea. I'm not really sure as to why, but I, I just feel that you are not supposed to do that. So what I'm going to do is create like a very short tube and then space it out from that in port of uh, the reservoir. I'm, I'm really not sure if I am forced to do that or if I could use like a male to male adapter and then just smash it in. Possibly I could do that. I, I, I really don't know, uh, but I just won't in case that I am indeed right. So we have, we have some sort of very short tube. This fits on perfectly here. Come on. Ugh. I really have to say those are like the worst fittings I, I have ever used. But hey, no shame to AlphaCool for that, because those are also like the least expensive fittings I have ever used, so I, I kind of get that. And now let's connect this here. Yeah, let's over tighten everything. Whew. Okay, from here it's going to be really, really easy. So, the idea is that the water goes into the water block. From the water block it goes into one of the radiators of each, or not of each radiator at the time, but at one, one at a time. From the out of the radiator it goes back into the reservoir through this water temperature sensor here. So from here on we need to use all of these uh, alpha cool quick connects, which are somewhere here. Here they are. All of my alpha cool quick connects. As I said, I have never worked with any of these. Uh, I don't think it's very complicated, however, if they work as I am thinking they do, they are going to be a lifesaver for this sort of project, or they are the reason why all of this is even possible in the first place. Let's say it like that. So we have a male side and a female side, and we can unscrew this, and then it pops off. Seems fairly easy and it just makes sense if I connect a blue and a red one because I think blue is like female and red is like male. So let's connect a blue one to every left side of the radiator and a red one to every right because I just chose so now. Yeah, seems like this works exactly as any honor fitting, except for the fact that this, this is just so much easier to mount compared to the ones in the bottom. Oh my god, is this easy to mount. Great! Now let's repeat this like 12 more times.
140 side finished. 120 side left. Great. And now, as far as I know, I need to do two more lines. One, which is going to be the in to the reservoir. So let's give this one the red, because that obviously makes sense. Because red is, no, the blue, because blue is cold. That makes more sense. And now let's say I wanted to use the thick 120 boy, so I take the red one from here, I connect these two, which is a bit slower than I initially believed. And then comes the very last connection, which is going to be uh, from the water block into the hot one, which now, okay, which is going to be blue, okay. <laughs> Should I leave it that long? No, this is a bit too long. Let's make it half as long. And still, this is going to be enough to reach every corner. Great. So now, finally, I am close to done. And the last one, which is going to be a red one. And come on, come on, come on. Last one. What the hell? Oh no, this is a blue one. We are done. Ladies and gentlemen, what we now have is reservoir, pump underneath, from the pump, into the water block, from the water block, into the hot inlet of the radiator, from the hot inlet, or the cold inlet, from the rad outlet, from the radiator, out into the temperature sensor and then back into the reservoir completing the loop and if i want to switch from radiator a to radiator b all i need to do is unscrew these two quick connects connect them over here and i can continue testing without shutting off the pc without removing any hardware uh, it is hot swappable. This is exactly what I wanted. And I'm so freaking done for today. This was so much freaking work. So for next time, we will fill the red. I think off camera, I will quickly connect all of the SATA power cables underneath uh, just to, uh, to have everything ready. And then we can, uh, I guess, finally begin with this. But uh, for today, this is going to be it. I hope you enjoyed seeing my self-made torture over here with my hentai tentacles. Why did I do that? Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.